Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and today I got something pretty cool to show you guys. I have built a fully automated elevator here in Scrap Mechanic, and it will take you from this floor here to the next floor up, or as many floors as you want. You can extend this as much as you want it the way it's designed. And basically all you do is when you get to the floor you want to stop off at, you step on out of the elevator, it will return back down to the ground floor there, and you can get to the floor you want where apparently it says you are not welcome. But uh, a pretty simple design here. You can see it's just using tires, a little elevator shaft to drive itself up the, the walls here. Oop, I <laughs> didn't mean to break blocks there but uh, yeah a couple tires engines and uh, all you have to do is tie them up in the right way and uh, yeah it works perfectly fine here get back in again here I'll show you guys and yeah, going driving up the wall it's a little shaky but uh, so is the mechanics of scrap mechanic <laughs> thus far so anyway it works really good though so if you guys are interested in building this for yourself I'll go ahead and now show you how to build it all right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is build ourselves a little platform here. We'll go as wide as we can. We'll get the rotation down. There we go. And then what we want to do is do a three wide pillar on each side. So three and then we'll go up as high as it'll let us. And then go one, two, three, four, five blocks apart. And we'll start here. And we want to take this one three wide also as high as it will let us go. And then up the middle here, we'll do the same thing, go as high as we can go. Doesn't really matter if you're centered, you just want to have a nice foundation. Uh, you can see it's not perfect, but that's okay. We'll make ourselves a small little elevator for here, just for demonstration purposes. But you can actually extend these pillars up as high as you want to your next floor. But when you get as high as you want, go ahead and cap them off with blocks on these edges right there and that will stop the tires of the elevator from going up any higher than you want them to go all right so now that we have the elevator structure we need to build the actual box that will go up and down so in order to do that we need to make sure that it's not actually attached to the structure itself and to do that we're going to trick the system here we're going to put a block there start to build out and then take away that block you can see it falls and now what we need to do is make sure we're pointing at this guy and bringing it out and as long as we are attached to the piece that fell we should be good so we are going to go ahead and extend this thing out so it comes out one in the back two in the front what is that one two three four five is that go six one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five. That should be good. Give us a way to walk in. And then we need to build a back wall up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, I believe. Let's try to put a roof on this and see if we fit. And we'll come out just as much. So we'll just eyeball this and see if we did it. And we're one short. So we'll take that, or one extra, we'll take that off. And we should be good. There we go. Good enough. All right. So we are in here now. If we want to check and make sure it's a structure, just go to your lift. You can highlight it. You can see it all turns gray. So that means it is all definitely part of the same structure. And now we can start to put the wheels on this guy. So we're going to need to build up a little more here on the side all the way up to the top. And then the same thing on this side. And we're going to go to the other side here. Do the same exact thing. Make sure you're pointing at the freestanding structure itself and then we can start to put on some bearings so we go up two three there we go skip one two and another bearing and we'll do the same thing on the other side so two up on the third spot put a bearing and then skip one two put another bearing and then we can start to place our tires down you should hear your little drill come out to place those tires and that should be perfect just like that get them all going and then we need to go ahead and place some engines on the back. We'll just attach them to the back wall. We need two engines since we need to power, you know, eight total tires. Each engine can only power five. So we're going to go four and four. We'll use this bottom engine to power the bottom four tires. There we go. We'll use the top engine to power the top four tires. And there we go. And then before we turn these engines on, let's go ahead and put our sensor in. So what you want to do is you go in the elevator here, you look up, and you go back one from the middle, and you take out that block. And that's where your sensor is going to go. Make sure it's facing down. There you go. And you can see as you walk in, 
it will turn on and it sees you that, that you're inside the box here and that's going to signal for it to actually start to go up which is exactly what you want so we'll go ahead and tie that sensor now to these engines and in order to get these engines to cooperate we're gonna go full blast and things are gonna get pretty crazy here off the bat but we're gonna go inside the elevator shaft here and you can see things go a little bit crazy as the engines are freaking out but now that they've done that well there's a reason why they're freaking out because I forgot a step we actually need to rotate these tires they're fighting each other so these ones are facing kinda of down and in but these ones are facing out and down so we need to rotate these ones they should all be facing in towards the beam and then down and that would be why it was going crazy so let's go ahead and fix these guys right there now when we get in there you go we are off the ground it's kind of hard to tell because we didn't build that thing very high but uh, yeah you can imagine you can take this thing as high as you want now because it's just gonna drive with the tires so let's go ahead and build ourselves a little platform to step onto and uh, we'll just go up here and I guess we'll let's go one over so we got a little bit of space to work with but uh, the, the elevator doesn't go very high so we'll just go I think it, I think it might be about there so let's go over and go up all right connect these guys and let's see if we have a, uh, a decent floor here and that went a little farther than I wanted it to so we'll take that back off and then let's just build ourselves out a little floor to walk onto and let's see and you can see here guys I actually made this its own separate thing I made sure that nothing was going to be hitting the tires weren't gonna get in the way the elevator shaft itself elevator box and uh, now we can get in and as long as we're in the sensor, should be able to walk on out, and we are up to the second floor now. So again, yeah, we didn't make it as tall as in the uh, the one over here, but obviously it's the same design. You can decide how tall you want to make it. You can also decide how many floors you want to put in, because as soon as you walk off, the elevator's just going to return back down to the first floor, and uh, you can just drop down from wherever you need to. So that's basically it, guys. Pretty simple design. And uh, now you have yourself a fully functioning automatic elevator to put inside your base and carry you up to whatever floor you want to, even if uh, you are not welcome. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. It truly does help me out quite a bit. Appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe before you go because I think I'll be doing a lot more scrap mechanic, inventing more things, having a lot of fun with this game, and uh, there's the endless possibilities here, and my ideas list keeps growing. So subscribe so you don't miss whatever I have to come. And with that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.